Hey guys, this is Raz from Decentral. And today we will talk about S19 and all the models that resemble to them. I mean to apply 13.8 volt. So basically what I found out on this dashboard is it's uh, detecting zero ASIC. So let's see what's going on. Of course, zero ASIC is n not a thing for only S19. Uh, any dashboard can have zero ASIC. But you will, I will show you what I mean. If I'm connecting, my power is at 13.8 volt, and I am at zero ASIC. So now. Let's see. First thing would be to check my return signal, of course. Return signal from the boosting circuit here. If I'm going, my return signal is 1.2. So S19J and S19J Pro are 1.2 instead of 1.8. Let's go down and down, 1.2. Let's continue. Oh, 0 0.9, oh, okay. Wrong side, 1.2, 1.1, and then here 0, and then here 0, minus 0, and 0, and so on. So I have a cut in the up right corner. Let me stop the test. There you go. What's going on? Let's uh, unplug the power supply and the tester. So let me show you something. This is the place that the signal is stopping. So I got this chip, the corner right here, and then that chip. And look at this, corrosion on the testing point. So if we take a look, the traces are directly linked and going through the testing point and then going to the other side right here. So if you got an issue with one specific trace here the trace is, seems to be completely gone and turns out it is my return signal but this is a j j uh, and we've encountered this issue with j pro s19 s19 pro l7 even uh, and all the other kind of model that resemble to this right here thing is if we take a closer look with the heat sinks right here. The air, if you've seen the physical, uh, how does the miner is looking uh, uh, on a physical view, uh, what I mean by that is if we take a look into the input and the output of the fans, the fan goes right through here and then going out to the other side. On many models, we've seen that in this corner and this corner, and even sometimes right in the middle, all the traces were either corroded or completely gone. So this is a very common issue that uh, can lead to problem with um, temperature sensor, uh, specifically on S19 and S19 Pro uh, version. This one doesn't seem to have any temp sensor issue, so on that end it's fine, but uh, there's this problem on the down corner. So today I will show you how I might doing it. You might have, uh, if uh, you are able to do it uh, on on your side, that's a very good thing because it's not uh, it's not always easy to do. But let me show you how I am doing it, and maybe it can help you out in the process. I got the traces right here. And first, let's diagnose. 
multimeter continuity mode and let's go to see before everything let's clean just a bit just to better see okay continuity already this this trace is completely gone let's try the first one here let's i will scratch the surface just a little bit just to have a better contact this one is all is a little bit corroded this one too but it will be fine if i'm going here it's connecting if i'm going here this one too this one nice this one last one if i'm going nowhere to be found and if i'm scratching just a little bit here just to have access to the trace that goes in under the dashboard there you go but here there's nothing and if i'm scratching to the other side just to confirm there's nothing so let's begin to work this place this specific place and do the return signal trace again for this specific job i have most of the time my three tr trustworthy tweezers there you go i will use just a little bit of flux let me try to bring you even further oh I will need a much more precise. Oh, there you go. Meanwhile, so I, usually I'm using the soldering iron, but meanwhile it's getting to its setting, set a temperature. I will use the air station with 400 to, uh, 480 Celsius. And I will just scratch a little bit the surface of the traces. Of return signal and I will connect it to the other side right here I will use what we call jumper wire something like this it is a very small cable and I will try to jump the signal through the other side Let me use a little bit of soldering paste. Let's see if it's solid. Seems like it. Okay, let's connect the other side then. There you go. So I have two sides connected. Now let's cut. Let's see if it's a successful operation. If I'm taking my multimeter continuity mode again. Okay. Okay. Et voilà. As simple as that. Now let's clean the job. Um, we're not sure why this issue is occurring with all uh, those type of S19 models. For me, I think this is a uh, link with the, that uh, plastic layer that they are putting on top of uh, between the heatsink and the uh, and the chips. 
between the heat sink and the dashboard. And what can cause this uh, with all the air going through might create those humidity pockets and then corrosion occur. Sometimes it's inside here, sometimes it's just on the other side of the chip, but it's always in those corners. So again, on S19 model, S19 Pro, J, J Pro, A Pro, even L7, or all the, and I'm pretty sure all the other model that resemble to this, there's those two corners that always have a weakness. So now the solution, if we want to prevent, it, uh, it would be a good idea to either put a protective cover like uh, acrylic, that might help. Some Ashboard already have some, but I think putting a little bit more might be a good thing to try. Okay, this section is now cold. I will test again and let's fire it up. There you go. So yeah. Now that the testing is done, let's close, unplug. Next step. Next step, uh, you could use uh, either acrylic, as I just mentioned earlier, or you could use that green stuff. Uh, right here. That is UV, <clears throat> that is UV curable solder mask. I can just try to apply a little bit of each sides. And I will use a little UV light afterwards. You know what? I like putting just a little bit on the side of my working station and applying it like uh, your painting. Then I will apply just a little bit of that green stuff on each side. It's a little bit like this one. I will make sure that I am not covering the other testing point because if there's an, another issue, I want to either me or any other technician be able to diagnose without too much hassle. Yeah, that's a, that should be sufficient. And then I'm using one of those uh, UV light. There you go. It's already getting harder. Should be good. Excellent. And now if I want to test, just out of curiosity, if I want to test, like if it was a regular testing point. There you go. I have access to it. This one. This one here, yes. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Again, uh, it's, it's quite simple to do once you're used to do it. So if you think that you're able to do it, well, be my guess. Now uh, you have a few twists uh, up uh, you sleep with this video. Hope it helps you. Otherwise, uh, if you need uh, any repair, as you can see, we are doing those kind of repair or 
and many more. So feel free to reach us. And if you like what we are doing, please yeah, do uh, what uh, you're always doing on YouTube. So the, the like and subscribe stuff is always helping. We also have a Discord channel uh, when uh, you have any question regarding everything that is Bitcoin related or just repair Ashboard related too. We uh, have a bunch of very good technicians too. So this was just one trick that I wanted to share uh, because uh, there wasn't really any other type of video. So if you got any feedback too, please feel free. So again, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.